So today I am in Lake Stevens, Washington. This is one of the most desirable suburbs north of Seattle in Snohomish County. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an idea of what it might be like to live here and why so many people have moved over here over the recent years here, so stay tuned. Lake Stevens is located about 35 miles northeast of Seattle. It's bordered by Everett to the west, Marysville to the north, and Snohomish to the south side. Now, when you're heading south from Lake Stevens, like many people do when they're commuting to their job, there's really two ways you can go. If you're going on the west side near Everett in Seattle or anywhere in between, you have I-5 there. If you're going on the east side, maybe you're heading down to Bellevue or Kirkland or Redmond for a job down there, you have Highway 9 that will take you to and from. So right now I am at North Cove Park. Now this is on the east side of the lake here in Lake Stevens. Is this is really one of the one of the main epicenters of Lake Stevens and where everything happens and where everything is going on. Now unlike some of the other uh, towns around here and in the Seattle metropolitan area, there's not a true like larger historic downtown area. You know, uh, Snohomish nearby, neighboring Snohomish has a great historic downtown uh, that I've gone through and showed you around. And there's other cities with those larger kind of historic downtowns with a lot of restaurants and shops and all that kind of stuff. So here in Lake Stevens, this is really where the downtown area is here right next to North Cove Park. So there is still stuff down here. There are multiple restaurants down here. There's a little uh, community market down here. Um, there's like a subway, there's a donut shop, there's a bank. Um, like I said, a few restaurants, a couple little things here and there. It's not a robust downtown, but this is re really where everything happens. So you can see North Cove Park here behind me. You can see the grassy field behind me here. They have a lot of community events here. Uh, they have festivals, they have little carnivals, they have holiday events. So we, we've gone here numerous times with our kids, taking them to all the little events centered around holidays and whatnot. And so it's a really, really cool spot. Of course, it's right on the lake. So it's a great spot for those that wanna bring their kids down and go swimming. There's a playground right next to there. You can see the covered picnic shelter as well. So this is a really, really cool spot, especially in those warmer months during the year and it gets quite packed down here because people love to take advantage of it. So let's talk about some of the reasons why people move to the Lake Stevens area. Number one, you'll often hear that Lake Stevens has some of the most desirable schools on the north side of Snohomish County here. You can look on niche.com here. You can see it's the A minus rated school district, uh, number two district in Snohomish County, according to niche.com here. If you go on the greatschools.org websites, you'll see there's sevens, eights, and nines for most of the schools around here. So you'll hear that from a lot of people that if they're moving to this north side in, in Snohomish County and they're considering maybe Everett, Marysville, Arlington, Lake Stevens, Snohomish, Lake Stevens really pops up a lot because it has a reputation for maybe having a little bit better rated schools than some of the nearby areas. Now, reason number two here is because of all there is to do in Lake Stevens. Now, of course, you're right on the lake, Lake Stevens. So unlike any of the other cities really up here in Snohomish County, you have a nice big lake really, really close by with multiple different access points. You've got North Cove Park here. Uh, that, we, that we've talked about and, and went through. You also have Lundeen Park on the north side of the lake, which has a great area, another swimming area, uh, playground area, some picnic, a big grassy field again. Um, so a lot to do there. And then you have Davies Beach on the west side of the lake, also has a boat launch, also has picnic areas, also has a swimming area. So there's really three distinct spots where you can, you can go and, and take your family and really enjoy the lake, two of which have boat launches. So if you have a boat or jet skis or whatnot, a kayak, paddleboard that you wanna throw out there. So that's really great. So that's, that's something very unique about being in Lake Stevens is the Great Lake access. Now, outside of that, we're still located uh, further east in the Seattle metropolitan area. So we're still close to a lot of the outdoorsy and naturey trails. So if you wanna go hiking or, or just go for walks, uh, you wanna go mountain biking, there are places nearby in Snohomish, neighboring Lake Stevens. There's a lot of opportunities like that. We have the Centennial Trail, which is a nice paved trail. So if you wanna go rollerblading, ride the bike, or just go for a walk with the dog or the family on a paved trail there, that is here in Lake Stevens as well. The number three reason people really move here is the convenience because you are pretty centrally located when it comes to Snohomish County and you have a lot around you. 
Lake Stevens itself is very self-sufficient. There's multiple different shopping centers. A new Costco just went in here on Highway 9, so that's been a huge plus for everybody living over here. On the west side of Lake Stevens is where you're gonna find more of those shopping districts, more of that commercial zones, commercial areas. So you've got like your Safeway and you've got a lot of restaurants and fast food places. You've got uh, clothing stores like Ross and whatnot. Uh, you've got a Hagen grocery store. You've got your pharmacies. They're all over the place over there. You've got your Target. So really everything in Lake Stevens is close by. You have medical offices. The main hospital is just over the trestle in Everett and that's also uh, one thing to point out about the convenient location is you are just a shot over the trestle from Everett. Now, Everett's the largest downtown area north of Seattle here in the Seattle metropolitan area. So you have your hospital, you've got a lot of restaurants in Everett. While Lake Stevens might lack some of the nicer restaurants, Everett certainly has more and you have waterfront restaurants over there. Uh, you've got theaters and, and plays, all sorts of stuff to do in downtown Everett. And so that's really close by. And then you've got Snohomish just to the south. I mentioned Snohomish. They've got that historic downtown area. So if you wanna go down there and, and look at all the boutiques and walk around and go to the restaurants down there, that is really close as well. So Lake Stevens really being nice and centrally located and very convenient for those that want you know, amenities close by. Lake Stevens definitely checks those boxes. And now the last reason here that we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about the home prices. So median home prices here in Lake Stevens are not that bad, especially when you compare them to Seattle and some of those cities further south. Median home prices are hovering right around 750,000 right now in Lake Stevens. Now, one thing to keep in mind, one thing to consider, one reason why a lot of people have moved up here is because of all the new construction going on around here. So if you're specifically looking for a home and you want a new build home in like a tight knit community with smaller lot sizes, there's a lot of that that has gone on here in Lake Stevens currently and over the last five years or so. Currently, there's about 112 residential homes that are either active on the market or just went pending off the market. Of those 112, about 58 of them are new construction, 2022 or newer built homes. And so there's a lot of new homes around here and that really helps people when they're moving here from out of the area, like many of you may be considering and they want new construction. There's a lot of options here in Lake Stevens while some of the other cities, some of the other suburbs may not have that. Now I was talking about real estate, mentioned the home prices here hovering around 750,000 and then all the new construction homes around here However, outside of new construction, there's a lot of other options. This is, you know, there's a lot of older neighborhoods that were built up in the 80s and 90s that are gonna have larger lot sizes, uh, closer to quarter of an acre, larger lot sizes than maybe the new homes, the brand new communities will. Also, with us being set on the east side here, there's a lot of acreage property in Lake Stevens. Now, not nearly as much as Snohomish, you're not really gonna get 20 acre parcels, might be a few here and there, but there's a lot of one acre, two acre, even five acre properties in the Lake Stevens area. So if you're looking for that, you wanna be somewhere where you're still close to all the community events and uh, community feel and everything, all the amenities nearby, but you want a larger property, you want some more peace and quiet, you wanna feel like you're living a little bit further out, there are certainly options here in Lake Stevens. I'm gonna take you by a few different neighborhoods just to show you around a little bit give you an idea of what those neighborhoods will look like. All right, so we're here at community number one here in Lake Stevens. So this is Hillside Vista, and this is one of the new construction communities. The builder here is Main View. Now, Main View, one of my favorite builders in the Seattle area, my favorite builder in Lake Stevens, probably. And so they've got a, a really nice community here, Hillside Vista. They've got a lot of homes still available and still coming up down the pipe. So. Um, I've done a tour actually recently on my channel. I'll go back and look at that one of one of these homes specifically. Actually, this one here behind me, it's about 2,500 square feet, priced at right around 950. Um, so I did a tour of that through the whole house. So if that's something that interests you, um, that, that is up there. But this is a really nice community. You're here on the east side of the lake. So it's only a few minutes from the downtown North Cove area where I was just at. Um, and these are really nicely built homes. All of them, you know, have a little bit very variable size of backyards. They're not going to be huge, but a lot of them will still have a decent backyard for you. So if you've got a dog, a pet, uh, some kids, uh, that can certainly still be a good option for you. There's a park here uh, just up the hill here on this side for the community. So 
It's a really quiet area tucked back here. Uh, one of my favorite spots of Lake Stevens actually here on the east side in terms of residential neighborhoods. I really like this area. So Hillside Vista, keep that in mind. If you're looking for new construction in Lake Stevens, this would be my personal go-to neighborhood. Love this spot, like the builder, very nice homes, good finishes, good quality. Um, but outside of this one, I know this is priced, you know, like I said, 950. Lowest price point I think in here right now is about 900. There were some closer to 875 or so, um, but I think currently available homes right around 900 for the lowest price point. I wanna take you to another neighborhood um, that's on the cheaper end of things here in Lake Stevens, a little bit under that median price point, closer to 700,000. Um, not, a, not a brand new home, but new-ish home. I wanna take you through that neighborhood. So if that's kind of closer to your budget, closer to that $700,000 uh, range, six, 650, that'll give you an idea of what to expect there. So let's jump over to that one. All right, so I'm here at the second community. Now this is the Crosswater community. This is on the northwest side of Lake Stevens here, and this is kind of a little bit lower of a price point. So 650,000 here. So this community was built up in 2007. So these are 2007 built homes. The one I'm gonna show you right up here um, is actually 2,000 square feet. So it's still a good size home. You're in a tight knit community. Um, so, so plenty of neighbors and you know, gonna be other kids and families and whatnot nearby. Um, but you see the one behind me here. This is the one that's for sale here in Crosswater. Like I said, I'll throw some pictures up on the screen. Um, but like I said, it's, it's about 2,000 square feet built in 2007. So still in really good condition and a nice home. Something you can get for below the median home price in Lake Stevens. Like I said, median home price is 750. So 650 here for still a 2,000 square foot home in a nice little community. Now, if you're looking for something, you wanna be in this price point, but you don't want like a really close community with really small yards like this one, and you want a larger lot size, there's still a lot of homes where you can get like a, a starter home, a three bedroom, 1200 to 1700 square foot home, maybe on a larger lot elsewhere in Lake Stevens, still closer to that 650 to 700 price point. So just keep that in mind if this isn't your style, but this is the price point you wanna be in, there are gonna be some other options. Let's jump over, let's take a look at the third community, looking at some larger lot sizes, a little bit larger home as well. All right, so this is house number three behind me. So we're looking at some property here. I mentioned Lake Stevens, you can get homes on acreage. So this home here, it's on three acres. The home itself is 2,500 square feet, priced at 900,000, and it was built in 2005. So not a very old home, and you're getting a lot of property, a lot of acreage. I'm gonna walk you down the long driveway here. This one is tucked back, uh, super private back here, very quiet, but you can just see the, the neighborhood overall um, you've got some neighbors still so you're not isolated you're still you know 10 minutes from town at the most there's still stuff going on around here but it is very quiet you do have property it's such a peaceful area so there's a lot of properties like this in the lake stevens area like i mentioned this one's priced at 900 um, so you know you can obviously get uh, higher price points from there for bigger homes custom homes luxury homes large even larger lot sizes but 900 thousand for a 2500 square foot home on three acres in this peaceful of a location not too bad of a deal and that's one reason people really love coming to Lake Stevens, they can just get more bang for their buck than some of the other places south of here. So this wraps up really the three homes that I wanted to show you and just overall my video for Lake Stevens. Just to summarize, it's, it's a lot of people have moved over here over the recent years because of the convenience, because of how much there is to do around here, because of how like family friendly the communities are, because of the number of different options for real estate, whether it's new construction on small lots or these larger lots and, and living a more peaceful lifestyle. Lake Stevens really offers a lot and so it draws many, many people in and it's continuing to expand the building houses wherever they can around here. But like I said, I'm an active real estate agent in this area. So if you're moving over here or you already live in the area and you're looking to buy or sell a home, feel free to reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help you with that. Thanks for watching this one.